Hello everyone and with Nadeep from EC. Today my topic is Advantages of State Space Analysis. State Space Analysis is an excellent method for the design and analysis of control systems. The conventional and old method for the design and analysis of control system is the transfer function method. The transfer function method for design and analysis had many drawbacks. In the advantage of state variable analysis, it can be applied to nonlinear systems, it can be applied to the tile invariant systems, and it can be applied to multiple input, multiple output systems. It gives ideas about the internal state of system. State variable analysis and design. State the state of dynamic system is the smallest set of variables called state variables so that the knowledge of its variables time t equal to t naught initial con initial conditions together with the knowledge of input for t greater than or equal to t naught completely determines the behavior of system for any time greater than or equal to t naught state vector if n variable if any state variables are needed to completely describe the behavior of a given system then these n state variables can be considered the n components of a vector x such a vector is called a state vector. State space. The n-dimensional space whose co coordinate axis consists of the x1 axis, x2 axis, and xn axis, where x1, x2, and xn are state variables is called a state space. State model. Let's consider a multi-input and multi-output system is having r inputs u1 of t, u2 of t, and ur of t and n number of outputs y1 of t, y2 of t, and ym of t, and n number of state variables x1 of t, x2 of t, and xn of t. Then the state model is given by state and output equations. x1 of t equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t is state equation, and output equation is y of t equal to c into xt plus d into ut. A is the state matrix of size n into n and the B is the input matrix of size n into R. C is the output matrix of size m into n. And D is the direct transmission matrix of size m into R. X of T is the state vector of size n into 1. Y of T is the output vector of size m into 1. And U of T is the input vector of size r into 1. Block diagram of a linear continuous time control system represented in state which and the equations are X of T equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t. State basic state space equations. In state space equations analysis, we are concerned with three three types of in state space analysis, we are concerned with three types of variables that are involved in the modeling of dynamic systems, input variables, output variables, and state variables. The number of state variables to completely define the dynamic of a system is equal to the number of integrators involved in the system. Assume that a multiple input, multiple output systems involves any integrators. Assume also that three are R inputs, u1 of t, u2 of t, or ur of t, and m outputs, y1 of t, y2 of t, and ym of t. Define n outputs of the integrator as state variables x1 of t, x2 of t, and x1 of t. And the system may be described by the equation x1 of t equal to f1 of x1, comma x2, comma and xn into comma u1, comma u2, comma and u r of t. The outputs y1 of t, y2 of t, and ym of t of the system may be given by y1 of t into g1 of x1, comma x2, x2, and u1, comma u2, and u r and time u y2 of t equal to g2 of x1 comma x2 comma x1 xn and u1 comma u2 and u1 and t then equations 2 to 8 and 2 to 9 becomes x1 of t equal to function of x comma u comma t and y1 y of t equal to function g of x comma u comma t where equations 2 to 10 is the state equation and equation 2 to 11 is the output equation if vector functions f fine or g involves time t explicitly then the system is called a time varying system if equations 2 to 10 and 2 to 11 are linear li linearized about the operating state then we have the following linearized state equations and output equation 
A of T is called state matrix and B of T is the input matrix and C of T is output matrix and C of T is the direct transmission matrix. If vector functions f and g do not involve time t explicitly, then the system is called a time invariant system. In this case, equation 2 to 12 and 2 to 13 can be simplified to x1 of t equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t and y of t equal to c, of, c into x of t plus d into u of t. Equation 14 is the state equation of the linear time variant invariant system and Equation 15 is the output equation for this same system. Thank you.